What's going on guys? It's Nate to wait and this is Cross Beats Production. So I was in the middle of making this beat and I thought I'd show you guys how I made my drums sound wider. Now it's just a small little trick, it's not really that much to it. I mean to be honest, it's all it is is a bit of uh, chorusing. So um, what I did was I created this drum loop and I showed this drum loop in another video. So I'm using this in machine at the moment, creating the drum loop. And um, I've got a few other things that I'm starting to do with the beat. So for example, piano, I'll just quickly play that out to you now. Okay, so that's the piano there. Bit of delay on it. I haven't finished that up yet, but um, this is a drums and I'll just play this out to you as well. So it's kind of like, I guess, like a 50 cent kind of beat, if you think of it like that. I don't know if those pianos are going to be the ones that are going to be in this beat. I'm just mucking around at the moment. But anyway, I want to show you how I made that, that snare sound a bit fatter and wider than it actually is. And um, there's a couple of things that I, that I normally do when I, I create my drums. And that's, I also create uh, drums in the mind of, of a hip hop style beat. So what I do with my drums is basically I'll get my kick. Usually I'll, I'll just start that whole process out of, of doing the kick and the snare kind of thing like that. Um, but with, with the snare, um, this is without the chorus, so basically just without chorus. With chorus. As you can hear, it creates that kind of width, kind of widthy sound to the, to the, um, the snare there. I'll just show you what it looks like on... Um, a meter so you can kind of understand what's going on as well as far as the stereo image and um, give you an indication of that so let me just bring this up here I like to use the ozone uh, stereo meter because it's kind of pretty much the only thing that I normally use in, in uh, machine so that's with the chorus on chorus off so as you can see that's a straight dead mono signal with the chorus off but when I put the chorus on there it creates a bit of a width to the sound but it doesn't take away all of the, the mono signal it just creates width to it. Watch this. So it's still in phase as you can see it's um, the meter is still in phase right there. So that's one thing I always look out for especially when using chorus you don't want to have things that are out of phase and it sounds weird anyway if you do. Uh, but you'll pick that up anyway once you go along with making your own beats. But I just wanted to show you this and it's kind of an idea that I came up with a little while ago just creating my drums and creating that width in the drums as well. Um, it doesn't matter so much with the kick because that's supposed to be in, in mono anyway but um, the, the snare can be a bit a bit wider, it can be straight dead center. Um, you could put reverb on it as well if you want to but this made it sound better to me in my opinion anyway so let me just play it to you briefly. <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty much it. So I hope it was helpful for you guys to see this. Now if you're making your own beats or want any other tutorials on my channel, uh, there's going to be heaps of stuff coming this year. So it's 2017 now and uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more on this channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and peace.